We're going to be entering Ives Hall and heading to the top story. We're going to be checking out some of the classrooms. This is kind of a view. This is a couple of the parking lots and campus housing over there. You can park your bikes and stuff. Down low is the K is Kaysom, which is the student radio station. But Ives Hall is one of the older, it's an older building on campus. It shows it at times. It has been updated. Uh, as we'll see, the lecture hall is really nice. It's not, yeah, it's not, it doesn't reflect what the building looks on the outside. And right away, you're going to see wood paneling on the inside. On the other side of this is a ticket booth. So they do a lot of lectures. If a guest speaker comes to the college, you can check them out. But it's really, it's, it's really interesting because it's really, really, really old, really old concrete wood paneling until you walk in this lecture hall. Let me get this light real quick. And when I turn the light on, you're going to see that this is pretty updated as far as, you know, it's got the, a lot of lectures go on here. And so you're going to get a lot of, you know, big, big, big lectures, a lot of one-on-ones, a lot of you know, specialty courses as well. There's been courses where I've walked in where there's been 15 people spread out in a select area, and there, you know somebody's giving a lecture, and huge projector. Usually somebody working in the sound booth, and so you can just check it out. So let's get. I'm going to jump up on the stage here, and I'm going to show you what one of the biggest lecture halls on campus looks like if you were a speaker. Now there's 200 seat or 140 seated, but you can fit about 200 people in this room. Uh, before the fire marshal gets angry and it's just a very small well-kept room that's great for lectures seats are not very comfortable by the way i would rate them about a six and a half if i had to give them a rating out of ten on comfortableness